Let us come together now in our prayer of thanksgiving, seeking help for others, and rejoicing in God's word. Let us pray. Oh Lord, we bring you praise and wonder and awe as we see an empty tomb, as we encounter our faith is so much more than believing in some sanctuary, some hiding place. We believe in you, O oh Lord. We believe in Jesus Christ. We hear his teachings and we find ourselves called up to be more than what we are, more than what we've been. We hear his, of his miracles and we look to our own hands, to our own abilities, to wonder how we can partake and participate in what he has done. Lord, let us give a gift of thanksgiving and praise in the way we live our lives to resemble Christ, to present him to the world around us, to cherish and honor who he is for others as well as for us, that we might together be your church. Lord, we pray especially that we might have the gifts of understanding, of wit and will to share your word with generations coming up around us and before us, coming up well after us, that the example of our faith will be something that they will want to follow in order to honor Christ. Lord, let that be praise unto you and not under what, under what, not to what we have done. Lord, we pray for those this day that are, that are astray, that are lost in their astonishment, that are bewildered by the power of, of, of faith in Christ. Lord, we pray for those who fear to believe, those who fear to believe in anything, those who are afraid that it might make some change that they don't want, that they don't understand, that it might cause them to do something that they, they didn't plan out, that they didn't make arrangements for. And Lord, when we face the fear of our own limitations, when we face the fear of the fact that we don't know everything that we're doing and we don't know everything that life is about, when we confront that and with hope cling to you, Lord, we find our purpose and our reality and our truth. And so, Lord, we celebrate that before you and we pray this day for everyone who in their wonder and awe has come into the miraculous healing power of, of your loving hand. Lord, we pray for the work of your church in, in, in hospitals and in care facilities and the way that ministering in Christ Jesus' names offers healing power, especially to those who in the best use of their gifts are offering that that, that strength each and every day to, to patients and those that they are meant to care for. Lord, we, we pray for people who give of themselves to go into others' homes in, in, in a ministry of caring, in, in the labor and the work of nursing and, and in home care. Lord, we pray for strength for those gifts and Lord, for the conditions that they must face and the troubles that they must encounter and in the way that they are not only healers but company present company lord let us simply at times be present for one another so that others may know love in their lives that they may hear hear understanding in our listening and lord we pray in our in our listening to one another that we will learn and grow from each other's stories of faith lord let us not be afraid to, to share what we believe even as we seek to show it in the way we live our lives Lord, we pray for words when we are confronted by the world in our faith, when we are confronted by the world for what we believe, when we are confronted and chastised and mocked by those who believe themselves of higher understanding. Lord, we pray for the insights to transcend what they call truths and to draw them into the light that is Christ. Lord, we pray this day for those who lead the world, those who lead our industry, that they will be more mindful of the harm that they are causing to this planet, our only physical home until we are gathered unto your kingdom. Lord, we pray that we will, we will be better stewards together of this creation and that those who lead our societies will be awakened to the, res the awesome responsibility to be able to say no to those who would abuse and misuse their authority and their power and their ability and, and do damage to this earth and harm one another. Lord, let us know what it is to put our trust in you as we go forth into the week, as we go forth into the year, as we go forth celebrating Christ the risen Lord, as we Put the empty tomb behind us and as we follow in the journey Christ has set before us to be with him, to even to be called home with him and to celebrate his love forever. Lord, hear the prayers of your people, the prayers of your church, the prayers of those gathered in, in places of worship and those that gather through this means in their own homes, on their, on their way to something. 
Lord, just sitting by the roadside, however you have paused us and called us to, to stop and, and, and recognize your place in our lives, Lord, let us see you as our Lord and let us rejoice as your people now and forever as we lift before you the words Christ Jesus taught us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our debts as we forgive our debtors. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. For thine is the kingdom, the power, and the glory, forever and ever. Amen.